Hello, friend. Happy Friday. Today, I'm going to show you part two of drawing face. So we are focusing on coloring the face today. And if you are watching me, let me know. Uh, where are you towing? I feel like every time I ask you where are you towing, maybe I should think some but, uh, newer uh, question to ask you. Hi, Claudia. Hello, everyone. So did you bring your, uh, did you bring the paper or your color pencil with you today? Texas. Awesome. It's my fellow Texan. Um, yeah. So just quick update if you are looking for to take a look at the zodiac uh sticker pack that I just launched uh not i haven't launched yet i just posted this morning i'm going to do a walkthrough next tuesday so if that's something you are interested stay tuned next tuesday and also i have a uh, fun my sister she's also into zodiac so she's gonna give us some more in-depth knowledge about zodiac so next tuesday it's going to be exciting and um, but today we are going to get to work we're going to color the drawing that i teach you last friday so i'm going to put the the camera on and uh, let's get it started Lower this. Oh. Okay, that's low enough. Cool. And if, so, first off, I'll just do a quick recap of our last where we were last time. I teach you how to draw this face. Face usually looks like almond shape, and then you split the face into four equal parts and then you split the top part into three one two three the bottom to three one two three and that's how you uh, get general idea general position of the face and then now we are going to color her so first if you want to know more about the sketch sketch the face go to my last igtv because i saved the live so you can watch over there and then this time we're going to color her first i always have this eraser with me so i'm going to just general lighten all my pencil line because what during the color stage the pencil is just a guideline i don't need to be very like profound. So it just to the point that only I can see. Because it's just be here as a guideline. And also if you have any question, you can leave comment and I will answer you while I draw. And then now I'm going to color. The first rule of some I'm going to show you is when you, whenever you touch, touch a color, <laughs> No matter it's the hair or the face, you start with the lighter color. So for example, I'm going to use this three for the hair. I'm going to draw her as a, like a brunette hair. And then I'm always start with the lighter color and then slow the medium and then the dark. So that's the rule of thumb. You want to start with the light to the dark. And it doesn't matter if it's hair or face. Uh, or close that's always the 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 rule to to do is start with the light and then, then you will layer on top of the dark the dark on top of the light and then you want to use like long strokes instead of a short cuz it just looks smoother I did the head really big because I want to show you the details. But when you draw at home, you don't need to draw 
a uh, such a big head, <laughs> you can uh, draw a smaller scale. Then I always draw left and right together. And then as you can see, I'm using the long, long strokes. Here we go. And if you have marker or if you are using other tool, you can follow along. And that over here is also the hair from back of her neck. So you want to draw that as well. Here we go. So now we have the lighter, we have the light color. Then we're moving on to the medium color. So the medium color, I'm going to start with the shadow. So you really want to use the darker color for the shadow. You don't want to draw like all over again. You just want to use the dark to darken the sh shadow. So make the drawing more, has more layer, more details. And that's, that soon you will see, oh, your, dra your drawing looks very uh, vivid. Looks like lots of detail and lots of things to look at. And that's on top of the head is where the hair come out. So there you will darken the root of the hair. And then you can have some longer hair string come down. Just if you are like with a friend or with a family member, you can observe the, their face feature you can just look at them <laughs> they may be like what are you looking at but it's just the best teacher is is life so you want to uh, if you want to draw people you gotta looking at people and looking at uh, what their um, hair looks like what their face and uh, eyes and all that looks like so that's, that's, you see, uh, the drawing is start to look like 3D, looks like mo has more depth. The final one I'm going to add is the darkest one. So I will be very gentle with the, the darkest shade. I'm just going to add in the back of her, her hair, just like close to the neck, which is the darkest. How do I know that? It's also from observe. Uh, from life, you just look at and then you will see, oh, the hair is darkest when it's over here. And that's uh, just by a lot of observation and sometimes over here on top of the head. See, and that's my personal uh, preference. I like start with the hair, but you can start with uh, the skin or the the clothes. Now I'm going to color her skin. That's my second preference. So I use this two. This two zero zero and eleven. And I'm going to use zero zero as the lightest one. So I'm just going to color. It's it's kind of it's a light skin color. So I hope you can see. Yeah. You can see, it's just a, it's like fair skin color. And uh, again, like you draw hair, you want to use a longer stroke. Because if you use shorter one, it looks, um, 
doesn't blend very well. It looks not smooth, which you want to be smooth. Can you see? Um, once I have the first layer, when I do the second layer, maybe you can see more. Or maybe this pen just kind of out of ink. Let me use this one. This is the same color, but just a different style of the marker. Maybe you can see this more because it has a better ink. Are you drawing or you're just watching? Tell me. Hello from Africa. Nice. What time is it? Is it at night? Night time? Then over here. Yeah, so the first layer is done. Watching Salsa, Texas. Oh, I have a lot of Texas fern. And then I'm going to use 11. I'm going to uh, do the shade, which is under the eyebrow. And then on the side of the nose. And then under the hair. That and then under the nose, under the lips, and on the side of the, the lip the mouth. And then under the chain, which is on her neck, is another shadow part. And that's her collarbone. And then there's another shadow. It's between her skin and her clothes. That's another part to add a shadow. See, now you have, I think it's the <laughs> filter make her eye look weird. But, uh, but uh, you can see now she has more depth, more layer. And that's the fun part to to draw is see from like nothing and then you you can draw a person out, which I think is pretty cool. Now I had the the shadow on. I'm going to draw her eyes. Like I mentioned last time, eyes are pretty pretty much the most important thing for the for a portrait. So you want to put more energy on the eyes when you draw. That's her. I, I like green eyes, so I'm going to draw green eyes. And then, so to outline her, her eyes, I mentioned last time I used this fan brush pen. 2 a.m. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you for joining me still. And now this fan brush pen, I'm going to use her to draw. And, and just for, don't forget to draw eyebrow, which I always forget <laughs> until I start coloring eyes. I'm like, oh yeah, there's an eyebrow I need to draw. Because without eyebrow, it'd be so weird. Huh, okay. Now I'm going to outline her eyes, which you can just simply follow the pencil line that you did earlier. But make sure that uh, you still use the long, long line, not short line. And then I'm going to add some uh, eyelash which is uh, my favorite thing to do. I like big eyelash. Over here. See, now her eyes are pop. 
And I'm going to draw the other side. Remember, always draw together. Always draw the eyes, everything, hair, always draw them together. And then I'm going to draw eyelash. Okay, see with this pen, this is like the eyeliner, <laughs> I feel like. Once the I outline the eyes, it just immediately pop. You make it so easy. It's, it, it is easy. You just have to practice. Once you get the, the hang of it, you will, it will be easy for you too. And then you continue to use this, this uh, uh, brush pen to, to outline the nose and then the lips. So I decided to do a, like a pink, pink lip for her. And you can choose if you like red or you like purple. I like more natural lips color. I'm going to do this color for her. And I come back to this brush pen and I just outline, especially the middle line is where I want to highlight. I don't, I'm, I then pretty much the most part that I'm going to highlight the under lip. I never highlight the upper or the full lips. Just a hint. And then I'm going to refine her face. Just when, when you refine those lines, be slow. Uh, and then slow and steady. Because those lines, once you put it on, you cannot change. So that's the difference between digital and um, traditional. Everything we draw here is a one-time thing. <laughs> you cannot change after that. Not like a digital, you can re uh, you can like turn it back or something. And then next one, I'm going to hide, I'm going to outline the hair. The, the place that where hair and face connect is where you want to highlight. Now this pen is run out. I'm going to change a new one. I'm going to change a new new uh, brush pen. I have like a hundred of this because I use it a lot. And then that's why I like this brush pen so much because it, the tip is like a, a brush you can use stronger strength or lighter. It just follows your, your uh, hands versus if you use some type of uh, like those hard tip pen, like those Copic, uh, like million some type of heart that has like a man um, micro pen or something i'm not a fan of those because the it's a hard tip you can't change your strengths versus this one it's really i call it it's that dance with my hands so i can outline and i'm gonna outline some some natural hair really thin and just some natural loose hair make make her not very stiff we make her hair more natural just some natural line come out see she's more natural now Thank you, my little planner corner. <laughs> Thank you, you're sweet. I love your feed. I, I, check, I check you out before. You are very talented too. I like your spread and the way you um, make your, your photo looks very pretty. And then outline her shoulder. 
<laughs> nice touch. And then I'm going to draw her clothes. What? So I'm drawing a, like a slightly off shoulder dress. I'm thinking I really like royal blue. I'm going to draw a royal blue color. I feel like she's going to a wedding or a cocktail dinner, something. Like everything you draw, make sure you use longer shock. So next time, maybe I can show you how I usually draw clothes. But uh, I would say the hardest, clothes is not hard. The hardest thing is to draw the face feature and draw pose. pose. So now I'm just going to highlight her clothes a little bit. Which this drawing, this tutorial drawing is more focused on the face. So the clothes is just... Uh, uh, actual thing. <laughs> Thank you. And just something like that. So she's pretty much done. In, in like as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to emphasize the the hair, the eyes. And just the general feel of her. And then the rule of thumb is no matter you use watercolor or marker, um, start with a lighter color and then add a darker color, add the shades on top of it. Same as hair, skin, and clothes. Thank you. A lot of names I'm not able to pronounce, but you are so sweet. Yes, I'm going to save this as a part two. And then I just want to show you some other drawing that I have done with different hair color. You, I did the, exactly the same steps, lighter to darker. Um, this is the drawing. And I, this one, I didn't use this. I just used the black color pencil as the outliner to draw her. Oh, I forgot another fun step for you that you can add on is to use this white gel pen, jelly roll, and then you add some highlight, highlighter for like the a reflection for the eyes and the lips. Hope you can see, but this one is more is more obvious. You can see the highlight, the reflection. And same as this girl, I did the exact the same, um, lighter color to darker color. And then the natural hair, I just use the, this. I just, I can do it here, I guess. Just use like very small circle. You just draw like a lot of small circle. You see? There you jump out. And then you just use those like a small circle you draw. It just takes a little longer to draw uh, natural hair. And then you use the darker color. And then you add a slow, small layers on top of. That's how you create uh, depths for the natural hair. And then that's, a, that's another one. Brunette, where you can see there's, uh, I add some white color pencil as uh, some highlights and reflection. That's something you can do as well. Like I can add some white color pencil on top of her hair as a reflection. I can do that. So that's how, you, that's how I usually draw uh, color the face. And that's just the same way I color everything pretty much <laughs> and then i'm going to show you so what do you do next a lot of people who love art they don't know what they do with their craft so i, I have some books that i feel like in the beginning of my career really helps me to um 
to to gain to gain more knowledge about what should I do with my craft. Like doesn't matter if、uh, I like drawing, maybe you like calligraphy or you like many other other crafts. This one is really good. It's a, I always、um, recommend to everybody. So still like an artist, it's how do you combine your creativity, combine with other people's idea to make your own to to add your own spin on it. So basically, what I get from this book is like you get your best idea, or you become a better artist by standing on the giant's shoulder. So, um, he explained why there's no brand new idea. Pretty much all the ideas are already being created. You maybe just not know, but、uh, I really like this book. It's just eye open to know. There's no brand new ideas, and you just have if you have idea, or you see another idea, how do you take that idea, mix with your own, and become a new idea? And this is the same same author Austin Kleon, and、um, that's her another book called Show Your Work. It's basically how do you get out of your own way of like judge yourself, but、uh, instead put this. Out of to the world because it's not your own judgment for your work because you need the world to see.、It. So there's a famous quote by Andy Warhol. He said, uh, "Uh, create art and put there out there. While you waiting for other people to judge it, go back and create a new one." <laughs> so it's pretty much the similar idea. So show your work is another one. And this one is called Art Inc. by Lisa Condon, and this book is more practical for artists. She teach you what's some major way that you can monetize your art. Like be a freelancer, you can license your work, you can sell your art. There is a lot of ways. Um, you even like right now as. With Instagram, TikTok, all that things, you can, uh, be a content creator with your art. So there's so many ways, which I like this book. So the three book, if you are interested, want to explore more as artist, as a, um a profession, um,、mm, this three book I strongly recommend you, to take a look. And that's. Pretty much what I got today. Let me flip back. So yeah, what do you think? Did you learn something today? Tell me. Tell me what's the biggest、uh, takeaway <laughs> you got it today. Yes, I do have a filter which I should.、Uh, I will be aware of that. Take it off next time because I didn't know when I draw it as the the like the filter on top of the face. <laughs> anyway, did you learn anything? And、uh, if so, I hope if you wanna come back and continue watch, I will save this as a Instagram IGTV, so you can always come back and watch. Yeah, the biggest takeaway is to get out your own way. Yes, um, I'm the same way. I judge my work. I feel like oh, that's not a good one. People gonna, uh, not gonna respond well. I'm not gonna get likes or you know blah blah blah. But I really just, I need to post it, and everybody. I mean, doesn't matter if it's good or not. This is my work, and I'm gonna go back and create another one, and that's pretty much to not tie your own words with how much other people like or not like. Start with the lighter color and move to the darker color. That's great. Yeah, that's a、uh, that's pretty much all you do. That's pretty much the rule. If even if you do watercolor. That's the same. You start with the lighter paint, and then put a put a darker paint on top. Thanks for the tip. Thank you.
for watching. Great. Uh, if you also like a planner, babe, um, have the Zodiac collection launch with the sticker pack. I also have prints, have mugs. I'm going to launch next Wednesday at uh, 11 a.m. And next Tuesday, I'm going to jump on live and show you the what's inside of this and also my assistant Julia she loves zodiac and she gonna jump on and tell you more about each sign so we we did this last night at my facebook group and uh, we had so much fun so i can't wait to bring her on again for the instagram um for all of you here a book suggestion yeah i really if you're gonna start start with the still like artist that's that's the one i start the first <laughs> you have so many marks great and uh, there's more mark marks coming so <laughs> you better expand your closet or your cabinet <laughs> and love your work thank you for share of course and i will share more with you um down the road thinking to teach more uh, different things you want to draw. And um, I'm always welcome for feedback. You can DM me what you want to learn. And I'll, if I know, I will share with you. So I hope how to draw face with accurate proportion. Thank you. Yeah, that was the number one, the, the, the last week live. I can't wait for Pisces. <laughs> yes, Pisces is a good one. You you created a planner and want to know if I have tips, planner. Um, I would say if you create a planner, you want to know what this planner f for. Who are you selling to? And if you know who are those people, I would uh, recommend you to uh, to put your art in front of those people. That's the most. Oh, a little bit with the structure. I, I would definitely look at other planner planners and what do you like, what you don't like. And uh, then you will um, make your own Spain. I mean, I think you create a planner probably because you can find some something you like on the market and you want to create something on your own so that's a pain point and not only you have i'm sure many other people have it too so if you struggle during the process i would definitely recommend you to take a look at other planners what do you like what do you don't like and what you wish that is exist so <laughs> you asked me if I'm Chinese. Yeah, so thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. I can't wait. If you have time next Tuesday, join me. I will be back and to show you the Zodiac collection. Okay, have a wonderful weekend and a Friday. So I will talk to you soon. Bye.